Hello everyone! This week I'm going to tackle diet or food in human design. My goal is to make this information as simple as possible for you to understand it and to apply it. What human design says about food is not about the type of food, but how this food is taken into our bodies. What is the way for our digestive system so we can take the most nutrition out of our meals. My name is Barchi. I'm your gentle guide here to inspire, empower and support you to be your most precious authentic self. Before we dive in, a short disclaimer. First, everything that you hear, I invite you to re-examine, to test it out and play with it don't take everything too seriously and don't be too rigid and i'm definitely talking to myself here trust me <laughs> and second thing i'm still learning so after a while i might have more information on this the on the topic however i still wanted to share what i know and i would love you to comment on your experience so we can all learn from each other and deepen our knowledge and three the last thing I am not a nutritionist, so I don't know what is good for you or not. However, I do believe a couple of things. One of them is garbage in, garbage out. It's really that simple, isn't it? And maybe it's easy for me to say um, as I grew up in an environment where there was no processed food. We always cook from scratch and there was no big deal about it. And I'm not saying that should be the norm. What I'm saying is a balanced diet, fresh ingredients, fruit, veggies can go wrong. You just want to mind what you put in your body. That's all. And I also fully admit that there was a time in my life when I was quite judgmental on what people ate as if I knew what was best for them not a proud moment so now I just stand for that everyone should listen to themselves and whatever we choose to eat let us just treat food with respect and prepare it with love and not take it for granted that's all and thank you so much for listening to this long speech now let's get to human design shall we so to find out our way of taking in the food, we need to check the termination in the human design chart. The termination also tells us how we take in information, but today we'll just talk about food. Okay, let's find the termination in your human design chart. To do that, log in or create a profile at Genetic Metrics. It's for free. You don't have to be a paying member as I am. And for a disclaimer, I don't get any payment out of this, out of sharing it. So create your profile or log in, pause this video until you do that. Now, make sure you have your foundation chart open as you see in the screen. And now click on a field next to the foundation, which says quantum and with the drop down menu choose body then the last thing you need to do is to find the word determination and write down what it says there you go before we tackle each individual let me just tell you that there are 12 different types which are called six colors and each color is a left or right fixed, meaning active or perceptive. Number one. For number one, it's really important that they have simple meals. That is crucial and I imagine that was something that might have been very hard for people as they were kids. An example would be a parent insisting to eat different types of food together and not just one at a time, such as eating meat with bread, potato, salad, you name it, instead of just meat. Also, 
these people might not be the best fit for what we call gourmet meals with 15 different ingredients, 10 different spices prepared in a complicated way that is not for a scholar of food and someone might not understand that and think their taste of food is bland. But the fact is that they can appreciate one food at a time, a simple meal, not having the need for a complicated one. So, with a left fixed active color, they're probably more rigid in terms of they focus on one thing or rather eating alone. And with a right fix, they might appreciate more variety as well as love to share food with the right company. The way for them to tell which food is beneficial is through their smell. Their nose is their guide. If you have this color, let me know if this resonates in the comments below and also share some of the food combinations you like or dislike. Thank you. Number two. Number two is also the second level, which means it's more open to experimenting, to tasting new things. But this one is still very selective. As one is trying new food, they figure out which one tastes good or not. And if it tastes delicious, they want to eat it all the time. And that's okay. The second color is all about taste and habits. When the second color learns what they like, they can eat the same food for a long, long time. And they should. Here comes the difference between the left and the right, or active and perceptive. The left one doesn't need to experiment that much, but rather establish some routines with the food, enjoying it at certain times or just certain types of food. Versus the right type is here to try more variety and don't be so limited about their choices. It's really about expansion, not holding on to the same old, but giving new opportunities a chance. And just to summarize, I would suggest two things for the second color. First one, enjoy seasonal food, meaning let rotation be seasonal. And the second thing, don't worry if the way you eat seems boring to others. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's your body, your choice. Enjoy it. If you have this color, I would love to hear from you how this resonates. Thank you so much. Number three, the third color has thirst for new food. The third color opens up even more to experimenting and loves to try what works for them or what doesn't. So the third, the thirst can be both for the experience as well as food and even liquids. So one type is hot and the other cold. And what does that mean? So, the type which is hot should be eating food that is warmer than their body, temperature, for the most part. I would invite you to also experiment with food which is considered hot by traditional Chinese medicine, for example, spices such as cinnamon or fruits such as plum, as they are considered hot even though they are not hot literally. And on the other hand, those who are the cold type should eat food which is cooler than their body temperature. And again, I would invite you to check food in traditional Chinese medicine and see if any of that feels right for you. An example of a cold spice is chili as it cools down the body by making it sweat. So, for the third number or color, I would say experiment. And again, don't be too rigid. Follow your body and intuition. And if this is your color, let me know in the comments below what is your experience. As you, as number three, you're the most experimental type and really know what works and what doesn't work by trying. So I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. 
Number four. With number four color, another set of conditions apply because it's a part of the upper colors. And that goes for color five and six as well. And it's not, and with these colors, it's not so much about what they eat, but how they eat. And just a tiny remark here, upper colors are no better nor important than lower. It's just how they are structured. So let's get that perception out of the way. All right. So for number four, two things are important. They need to touch food or love to touch it. So they can almost prepare themselves for digesting it before they actually consume it. And the second thing, they need either calm or nervous environment. And that's quite straightforward, isn't it? So calm is when food needs to be consumed in a calm, peaceful way. These people prefer to eat alone and don't like to be disturbed while they're eating. And this is actually the color that I have. And I can tell that I really don't like if someone is making loud noises or wants to engage me in a difficult conversation when I eat. To be honest, I just love eating alone or with people that I feel comfortable with. And the other things I need to make sure are that I don't eat when I'm stressed because this food will have a bad effect on me. And same goes for emotional eating. Not a good idea. If I eat when I'm emotional or to numb my feelings is when I gain weight or I have some digesti digestive issues. Okay, so to move on, on the other side is nervous. These are people who need stimulation to get their digestive juices going. They definitely don't want a quiet meal, probably love to eat in a company of others, outside, in front of TV, and so on. And if they need more of that exciting energy to start their digestive protocol, so be it. I should also say that everyone who has a receptive brain don't need so much food as people with an active brain. An active brain is more demanding for food. And we cannot do anything about it. It's just a reality, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let's go to number five. Oh, and I forgot to say, if this is your color, please let me know if it resonated in the comments below. Thank you so much. Okay, number five. Number five or color is about the frequency or s of sound. They're very sensitive to sound and can read the meaning of something by the way it sounds. With food, there are two things we can look at. One is a frequency of sounds, information, and how we digest those. And the other thing is the frequency or quantity of having meals. I will explain. So we have left the active side, which is called high. That means that people enjoy being stimulated by either high noises, a lot of information while they eat or in general. They love to be in a crowd because that gets their digestion stimulated as, they, as it needs to be. A simple example would be eating out on a street of a big noisy city. They may also need to eat more frequently because of all the information they tend to consume over the day. And on the other hand is low. Low is when someone likes to eat in a quiet, tranquil environment, not with too many people. They like to have a quiet meal with little outside information. As they're on the receptive side, they can get by with low frequency of meal of meals or not a lot quantity wise, meaning they eat probably very little. Alrighty. Let me know if this applies to you, if this is your color. I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much. And number six, light. I find this one really interesting and it's basically it's very straightforward. 
it's either eating in the daylight or at night time. I would definitely check in with yourself and experiment before you do this, but in general, here it goes. Direct is for people who eat and digest food when the sun is up. So they shouldn't digest food during their sleep time. Indirect is when there is no more sunlight, so these people can definitely eat and digest food at night. Number six is the last one and it points into something new. It shows us new possibilities and perhaps also prepares us for a new way of mutation. Okay, now let me know how you resonate with your number or color. Were there any surprises or reliefs? Can you relate to it at all? Let me know in the comments below as I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening. I invite you to give me thumbs up if you like this video or subscribe if you want more of what I make. And see you next time. Bye.